We've stayed at some of the most dangerous locations on the planet, from a lighthouse in the middle of the ocean to a bed on the side of a cliff. We've pushed our fears to the limits to create some of the craziest overnights for your viewing pleasure. And just for you guys, we've saved our favorite dangerous overnight for last. But first, let's start with right below us are our cliff tent. And we're gonna be spending the next 24 hours on the side of this cliff. I'm on this mountain too. The boys and I decided to climb this huge mountain to attempt the most nerve-wracking overnight of our lives. You ready, bro? Let's do it. <laughs> Rock climbers use these ledges to camp on the side of cliffs to complete massive mountains when turning back is not an option. Once we get to our cliff ledge, we are going to spend 24 hours suspended hundreds of feet in the air. And let me tell you, we are nervous. Oh, man. Will we survive? I hope so. I don't think you guys realize how high up we are right now. Oh. Good <laughs> night. It's recording. It's recording right now? It's recording right now. Hi, Rick. Yo, folks, as we're on easier terrain here, I know it seems silly, especially when we're standing up, but try to maintain one point of attachment still. If you still were to trip, it's not that far from the edge on either side, so. This is where it happens all the time. People will accidentally or purposely unclip themselves. When we're repelling, we're gonna be clipped in. To make sure you're locked and loaded here. When you are rappelling, you're leaning back, putting all of your weights into the rope right there. The key here is once again, chest up to the sky. Right now for me, I don't have a backup. So if I were to let go, that's why I'm still flipped in. But when you all go, you're gonna have us as your backup. We have both our hands on the rope, feet are shoulder width apart. When our feet are like this, it's gonna make you wanna, biggest mistake, people try to down climb this because they feel more secure like trying to climb, but it's gonna be way harder. Your feet are gonna slip and you're gonna be unweighting, weighting this rope. It's gonna be super scary. Lean back fully on this rope here. You can lower yourself down. What we're aiming for here, my body is perpendicular to the rock. Any questions there? We got this, boys. <laughs> we got it, we got it. I am extremely nervous. Oh, man. So what do I hold on to? You can hold on to like the rope right when you're not. And I want you to lean back and look at me the whole time. Don't try and look over your shoulder. If you can sit back and let your heels touch the rock, like you're in a lazy boy chair, just let your harness, gravity, and the rope do all the work. We're right here with you. Take a Keep deep going, breath. Oh, this feels so One awkward. More. Now walk them down slowly. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. Straighten out awesome. those legs. Hey, relax those arms. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Let that harness do the work. Now that I can't it's look like down, this is... This is so scary. <laughs> trying to relax. Nice dude, yep, relax those arms. That knot and that rope you're tied into, super strong, can hold thousands of pounds. Like all I, the week leading up to this, I've been absolutely nervous. I can't imagine why you'd be yeah, nervous. Yeah. I'm I mean, terrified like, of heights. No worries, that's why we're here. I think it's just that uh, initial lean backwards that just is so unnatural. Oh. I do not want to look down at all. This is so scary. Well, why did we do this? I can't be on ladders. You just climb the most extreme ladder of your life. Uh, yeah, yes. man. The white? The white one, exactly. Can I just stand on it? And you'll be able to stand on it. It will jiggle a little bit when you get down there. Hey, Dan, we got two feet. Right, it feels like a trampoline. Welcome to where you're sleeping. Oh my God. No more rope. No more rope. Good wow. thing you're still attached to the cliff. All right, Dan, you're good to pull up. I am terrified, but let's go. So why are you going next? <laughs> I just got to send it, because like if I don't, I, I won't go. Guys, I can't tell you how nerve-wracking this is. Man, the view is epic, but right below us is nothing. Nothing but air. And this thing is like a trampoline. It's like bouncy, it's moving. Go ahead and unclip, we'll step back. Don't grab my side, just grab your side. Yep. And try and aim over this shoulder a little bit. Yeah, buddy. Just like with Justin, move a touch to your left. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> You're good, man. You can step down and then fix your direction. Yeah, there you go. Hyper straighten out those legs when you can now. Nice, dude. Exactly. Relaxing that lazy boy in the sky. Oh, step a little bit to your left, just a touch there more. There we go. Okay, my Gotta get your Relax those arms. It's not an arm activity. Let the rope do the work. Oh. Heels flat against the wall. How you doing, man? Oh, I'm hanging in there, bro. Hanging Woo! in there. Oh, my soul, bro. Let's go, bro. You're almost there. Oh, my soul, dude. Oh, thank you, Lord. Wow. J Stu merch, jstewshop.com. Oh, my. Subscribe or I'll never do this again. Great down there. Once you step on that guy, it's going to move a little bit. That's okay. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. 
<laughs> this is nuts. So this is bolted in? This is bolted in. I hope. Oh my gosh! <laughs> What are we doing up here? How much weight does this thing hold? This bed? Uh, at least six pounds. <laughs> are there any final words or requests you have for your family? Uh, oops. I wasn't really nervous until just now. <laughs> Walk back a little bit up here because it's pretty low angle. Nothing like Steve sand. No need to death drift the road. Oh, poo poo. <sighs> Hey, Andrew, straighten out those legs all the way. Chest to the sky, relax those arms. Let that rope do its job, man. Andrew, how you feel, man? I'm feeling scared. Woo. Scared. Okay. We're coming down the mountain when she comes. Oh, oh my foot caught something, scared me. I'm okay. Am I on target? You're on target. Stay on target. Stay on target. Just a smidge. Right here, bud. It's gonna shake a little bit. My guy! Hey! My guy! Welcome to the club! I hate this club. <laughs> We've been here one second. We're still waiting for Samuel to get down here. Sam. Like a majestic crane. <laughs> Or penguin, which uh, one am I aiming for? You're aiming for the ledge they're on. We're gonna put you all on that guy for a little bit. Uh, I am so nervous. Really? No. We are all four officially on the cliff tents. Let the challenge begin. Like, you can see like underneath you too, because there's holes. Why am I on this ledge too? Oh, okay, I'm Nurl. on the edge. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> oh! He's a madman. <laughs> Ow. You take your shoes off. You're gonna drop those. I know. Whoa. Shoes are hanging. No We're way. vibing. Get out. Are you kidding me? I got beef jerky, my guy. Yes! Oatmeal oh. little cookies. Oh boy. I left my water on the top of the mountain. Something tells me they're gonna want to see if we want to do other things. I'd be down climbing the cliff. That yeah. sounds fun. I don't want to rappel down again. So. You see what I'm saying? I don't want to do any more rappelling. That was enough anxiety. But me and you could stay and play rock, paper, scissors while Samuel and Andrew you know, ascend the amount. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> ah, the good old banana waterfall song by Ahulakala from Hawaii. Oh, when I eat, oh. <laughs> no littering. It's a cookie. Beautiful. Thank you. Let's go rock climbing. No, <laughs> I have no desire to do this. Look how nervous Samuel is. <laughs> nervous is, or nervous. Samuel is going up. Nervous is going up. What happens if he falls? We're all screwed. Nah, I just move out of the way. All right, guys, Samuel just successfully did the rock climb. He's on his way back. And he's back. Guys, Samuel sent it, and why do we need to go? We don't. Because when our kids, we're going to tell our kids we slept on the side of a mountain, and the last thing they're going to ask is, well, did you did you do rock climbing afterwards? If not, it doesn't count. We're not nervous at all. We're finally relaxed. Right and meanwhile, nervous is about to sink. <laughs> Are you replying to me? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're replying to you. Not only replying, we're referring. Oh, so scared. Oh, oh you're so scared. See, we're not nervous. It's we're fine. Not. You guys should go. Stop. See, See the worst thing, the worst thing that does not bless us. There's no way nervous is going to think this is fun. Are you replying to me again? Yeah. This one is mining nervous. You're not standing up. We're the two scared ones and we're calling them nervous. <laughs> Just remember, Andrew. There's no shame in being one of us. You can stop. Oh, wow. Andrew, stop while you're ahead. So there's nowhere to you grab. You can say you rock climb. Just get down. Keep <laughs> turning back to base. Oh, holy crap. Yeah. 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 <laughs> over this way, dude. Yeah. Step your feet there. Your legs are your friends. To be a good footer. Andrew's sending it. He's doing way better than the Nervous Brothers. <laughs> so this is the system for getting our supplies up. I lost the rope for a second. Oh my <laughs> good grief, you maniac. <laughs> I gotta have fun too, you know. <laughs> Alright, who wants to try? I'm fasting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like a dinner buzz. A pepperoni hummus sandwich in the middle of a cliff. <laughs> Yeah, this tastes yeah. really good. Um, <laughs> we just finished an amazing, simple dinner. What the heck 
is wrong with you? Justin? What? I have to pee. How? <laughs> I've got to switch with you right now. What? Evo told us this is how you pee. You pee off the ledge. Oh my! I might do the knee method. Now how do I unzip my... <laughs> what? Alright, go ahead. Just lean off the edge. Don't pee on my shoes. I know, I'm moving. Pee in the helmet. Hold on. That's my helmet. Where are you peeing? Just get out, get everything out of the way. Are you standing up? Are you doing the on my knees mode? I don't know what you want to do. Do I stay here and look? <laughs> I don't want to be here. Zipper down. Put your zippers down already? Yes. Scoot forward. Go to the edge, Mom. Wow, I'm scared. I reserve the right if I get scared. <laughs> To do what? What are you gonna do? Turn you know around and pee on us? <laughs> Stand up. This is very secure. Go oh, forward. I can't. You oh, have geez. got to aim outward. <laughs> Hold on. This is nervous. You guys never thought you'd see a man so nervous to pee. This is what you subscribed for, right? <laughs> I just feel like y'all are gonna shove me or something. Why would we shove Please, you? Don't. 150 feet in there. <laughs> that just seems like something you'd think was funny. I can't. <laughs> oh my Stage God. right, stage right. Go on it, man. It's been five minutes. You can't go. <laughs> I'm doing this. Sitting over the ledge method. You're gonna you get do it all over your pants. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody is watching you. I know. What happened? <laughs> Are you serious? You can't pee? There's no way. I'm so nervous. Could you at least poop on the ledge? <laughs> I've never seen someone be so nervous I cannot go pee. Give me a bottle. I don't have a bottle for you. Dance your faces off. This will officially be the first pee. If somebody couldn't get the job it, done. Send it, send it. Take a big pee. Just watch out for me. Oh my I gosh, Samuel, hurry. hurry. It's yeah. easy. Just relax. <laughs> Super beautiful. <laughs> this really was nice. I brought a <laughs> present for us, guys. Are you going to be doing that all night? Oh, man, this is epic. At this point, we will be able to determine who gets to sleep on the very super secure ledge, which is this one. Or we've also got not as secure, but maybe more fun. I mean, ledge. Like it's pretty secure. Oh, we need to have a challenge. Who wins gets the cool bed? Why? I said it was going to be just whoever Whoa. climbs the most got, got the good bed. Yeah. You but guys they were like not having down more fun, though. And this is a lot more fun. No, more you relaxing. Said, you said that one was more fun. No, could be. I agree. I think whoever climbed the farthest gets to have the good bed. We don't agree with that game. I'm going to go next door. Uh, just step over. This guy is going to shift. Put both in that guy for me for a second. Yeah, good idea. Go ahead and oppose those for me if you would. Yeah, good idea. He is full and of good step idea. on. When you step on this guy, it's going to shift. Here if you can. Not on the edge like you're stepping there. These don't do as well when you step on the edge. I'm going to go next door and I will determine for the group which bed is better. Step the ball out of that guy and I... Give it a try. Ah! Oh. Oh, he liked it. <laughs> Whoa, he's convinced. This one's actually not bad because that one's like kind of solid. I mean, I'd be okay over here. It's a nice hammock. Well, also, we're not moving around. If this starts shifting around like a kite, like yeah. it was earlier. Like a kite? <laughs> oh, you're, you're, it's, it's, you're gonna be okay. You, you might feel a little bit of a shift though. Okay, I'm so ready. ready. Yeah. You, you want to coordinate who's moving where and whatnot? Let me clarify. I'm staying here. <laughs> hey, no way. This one moves a lot. But this one's like more comfy though. Yeah, how about all three of you go over there? I'll have this bed to myself. It's fine. <laughs> fine. No, I'm kicking one of these guys off. I'm back from the jungle gym. We're gonna play rock, paper, scissors. We need two people to move over to jungle gym. Anyone wanna volunteer for the jungle gym? No. Pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me. Looks like we have uh, no volunteers, so. No volunteers. Rock, surprise, paper, scissors, surprise. decide. What what do y'all need for me to stay here? Huh? I need well, you to win rock, paper, scissors. Other than scissors. that. <laughs> other than that. <laughs> Everything has a prize. You two verse? No. no. Yes. I want to verse you. No, we're no. versing y'all. Because that means one of us don't get it. That's the point. Because you guys are the nervous brothers. We are the nervous brothers. Oh, man. That's right. You are. The first game is who you're playing. Okay. That's fair. Huh? Rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, shoot. shoot. Uh, hey, I win. The next person who wins versus you. Okay, okay. Rock, Rock paper, scissors, scissors, shoot. Yes, right. you're versing Samuel. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we still here? The winners get to stay on secure ledge. Oh the losers go to playground. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yes. That's only one win. You got to get two. Two out of three. Oh. 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 Yes! Oh. 
Yeah, he won it, third square! That's just unfortunate. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Oh! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Oh! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! No! Even if it wasn't both of them, we just wanted one of y'all. Yeah, yeah. That is. That was, we did it very well. Yeah. That is crap. God, when I get up there, nervous, nervous brothers merch. Drop a like for nervous brothers merch. We've been on this ledge all day okay. for hours, yeah. and I just want to point out that Seth's hand is still hanging on to the rope. <laughs> the nervous brothers were hanging off for dear life. Oh, We've good. been up here for hours. Oh, it feels good to hold on to something. Mm -hmm. Hey, Steve-o. Would that flip over if they wiggle a lot? Dude. It's possible. <laughs> <laughs> like, I hope it's a Pam. Yeah, dude. Here we go. Why are y'all on our bed? I don't know. Oh, this smells so bad. <laughs> okay, we're listening to the ukulele. I don't care about your stinky sock. Here's a challenge. $20 if you can complete it. Oh, wow. easy. You got to go to the edge and nope. just kind of lean back. 20 You're, bucks. Give me 20 bucks. Yep. Who are you looking he at? He doesn't have to. I just want to see if they had any faith in me. <laughs> They're like checking their text messages. They're like, they know nothing's going to happen. happen. Let me get my you boots on it. Think I can do it? You got it, dude. I believe in you. I'll do it for 20 bucks, I guess. Oh. Are you going to do it? I haven't been offered it yet. <laughs> Dude, this angle is crazy though. I know, that, right? Guys. Isn't that cool up there? Like, so oh gosh. Dude, there's no way. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. You got, you got it. Let go. go. Oh my! Dude, nice, dude. Straighten out your legs, dude. Straighten out super legs. comfy. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. Give me 20 bucks. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. We did it. Offers on for Justin yeah. to try. 20 bucks. Oh, don't look. <laughs> no, dude. Come on, Slippery. I don't know. Oh, I don't think I can do it. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, this is awful. And we're just being held on by a shoelace. Wait. Oh, All right, both feet, both feet, both feet, both feet, both feet, feet. Yeah. There it is, there it is, there it is. Say it, you owe me 20 bucks. $20. <laughs> oh. Oh. All right, you guys get the same offer. I'll pass. Do I get the same offer? <laughs> Wait a minute. Samuel, face first for $40 or normal for 20. How do you do face first? Uh, yeah, that wouldn't be safe. Alrighty. Looks like we could all do it at once. <laughs> oh man! Uh, Look at that! Send the legs! Send the legs! Uh, <laughs> no hands! Oh! Oh! All right, now let's get nervous. <laughs> nervous man. I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> nervous! <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at it, you're gonna spray it. I'm not even unzipped yet. I'm gonna go P2. Not with me. <laughs> wow, guys. <laughs> hey, that's scary. <laughs> it's a dangerous game, boy. Well, guys, the non nervouses have got into their zone. What do you think, fellas? Over there? Oh, oh my, my god. god. Ah. <laughs> it has been slowly getting colder and colder. Definitely gonna have to put on a jacket here soon. But I'm excited to see the stars tonight. Well, I finally went to the restroom and we got a new lantern. Chunko Chunko. <laughs> Yellow lantern. Guys, me and Samuel are in our sleeping bags. This is gonna be one of the craziest nights, I think, especially on the edge. You're on the edge too, huh? Yeah. Dude. <laughs> This is nuts. I am very nervous. What's that sound? <laughs> Dumping out the lantern. <laughs> yeah, you can, can't really see down there, guys, but oh my goodness. And you oftentimes can't hear your pee hit the ground when you pee off the ledge. Yeah, it's gotten a little chilly, so we got our jackets, new clothes on. Yeah, it's definitely kind of trippy being up this high still. Still? I'm not like that comfortable just because uh. it's nighttime. Well, good night. Oh man. 
Uh, look at that oh, view, though. Good. I got the pee out of me. Me and Shimu are in bed, too. Yeah? The nice. wind and the trees, it sounds like a constant fan. So it's kind of like some nice white noise while we sleep. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Um, you check yourself as well. Hey, guys. It's about pitch black right now. And we pretty much can see all the stars in the sky. I don't think you guys will be able to see it, but it is so crazy out here. There's what it looks like with 500,000 ISO, guys. You can definitely <laughs> see the stars, but very blurry. That's cool. Look at all them stars in the sky, man. Yeah, everyone is trying to go to bed now. It does make me a bit nervous, though, because there is a chance I could roll off the side of this bed. I am still strapped in. Good night, everybody. Whoa, 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 what's going on over here? The thing about the adventure bed is if someone has to go pee, we gotta work as a unit so we don't flip our bed. Samuel has to go sure to poop? Just pee. Sleeping this close to the edge is a little sketch mode. I'll just pee my pants. I think we're all alive still. I don't think anyone fell off. Our guide is still alive too. I think Justin's still asleep. This is quite the crazy thing. Oh my sunshine, wake up. We did it. We did it. Well, not yet. We gotta get down. Oh, okay. good morning. <laughs> uh, uh, I was comfy at first, but then once it got nighttime, it got really scary. I just kept thinking about falling. It was like in the nighttime, I mean, like depth perception almost makes it worse. Like I look at your guys' like thing, I'm like, that doesn't look safe. Evo, he's awake. Oh my God. He's so happy to be with us. I was hoping you all rolled off. <laughs> so folks, uh, you all won the rock, paper, scissors. So I think they get to choose yogurt flavors first. And it is a dark chocolate hazelnut granola that is like candy. Yeah, I got a blackberry and a yeah. blueberry. Whoa, oh my. Granola for you. Oh. Thank you, chocolate, chocolate chocolate chip. And actually, that guy has granola already in it for you. Oh my, Chobani. Oh, doom. Thank you. Guys, let's go. Yogurt is especially delicious on the cliff. Not a bad breakfast. Wait, it's time to get down? <laughs> oh, it's time to get down? Oh no, we're having so much fun. Yeah, it's so much fun over here. The moment of truth, guys. We have yeah. to rappel down the cliff. That's going first. Sit down on the rope, and then you'll be able to kind of swing your feet out oh, over. Oh, nice. Am I skinny enough? Think really skinny thoughts. You're basically gonna follow that orange Ooh. rope. Nice. Let's go, boys. <laughs> going down. Nice, dude. Nice, dude. Welcome down to the ground. You made it. Let's go. Nice, you done. Jumps. Roll off. <laughs> Ooh. Bye, Samuel. <laughs> See ya. Good speed for ya. We did it, we completed the challenge. Where should we spend the next 24 hours at? <laughs> what? Ooh. Ooh. This is the world's loneliest lighthouse. And we have to survive here for the next 24 hours. Oh no. This lighthouse was built in 1882 and is nicknamed the loneliest place on earth. The only way for us to get there is to take a 45 mile boat ride in the freezing waters. Holy moly. Holy moly, it looks like an iceberg. The water is rarely calm and getting a boat close enough to go up is gonna be a challenge. This lighthouse has no electricity, no phone service, covered in ice, and the only way to get up is on a 20 foot rusty ladder. You got it, Rick. I already feel better. It's heavy, pull it up. To be a lighthouse keeper here would drive a normal person insane. And we are gonna stay the night in it. Oh my gosh. Thanks for the ride. God, it's free to get out here, just cost to come back. Oh. <laughs> It's cold and it's damp because it never gets warm. It never gets warm in that place. One of the keepers once remarked, I'd rather be in the state prison. Oh yeah. Oh. Early stranded out here for 24 hours. Caleb's been here five minutes and already both his shoes are soaking wet from stepping in puddles. It's supposed to get like to freezing tonight and my feet might fall. <laughs> we have no way to get help. So Dave, 
is our last resort. <laughs> and even if he does come, it's gonna take four hours for anyone to rescue us. That's if we can get in touch with him. Right now, all he knows is to be here at 11 a.m. tomorrow. Oh, man. Dude, that bird, he just died. Oh, this is not a good sign. <laughs> We just heard thunder, which it looks like a thunderstorm is coming. As you can see, the storm is getting closer and closer. I don't want to be struck by lightning. We're the say, only big structure out here. Dude, what is with your hair? What's happening? Dude, oh I'm sorry. dude, when your hair stands up, it means lightning's about to like. Is that right? Thing? Yes. We're standing under a metal structure. This is. Oh, we gotta get inside. <laughs> I've got the keys to the lighthouse. Hopefully these work. By the way, like the sign says, no trespassing. We had special permission to get out here. So if you come out here without special permission, it's a federal offense. Oh my gosh, dude, this is so cool. Hopefully the key works. Uh oh. Please tell me it works. That key didn't work. I'm being serious. Keys aren't working. <laughs> oh. Yes. <laughs> God, this oh, thing is heavy. Bro. Oh, oh the crap. Crap. it's black in there. There's no power in this lighthouse. What the heck? It's freezing in here. I've got the schematics pulled up right now. We are in the entrance room. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven total rooms. And two rooms in the basement, which we're gonna explore tonight. But first, let's go upstairs. Oh my gosh. There used to be power. Creepy hallway, huh? You guys know how well I do with, with uh, creepy places. It's a window, but I can't see up. Too short. What's happening out there? Shall I describe it to you? Uh, water. Oh. This one comes with a cool little stair. Yeah. It's <laughs> the first assistant keeper's room. Oh my. Jeez. Oh my. Old wall paint. Is that lead based paint? It's gotta be. This was built in the 80s. Don't touch it then. In the 1880s. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I meant to say the 1800s, but. <laughs> so they had a heater in this room. A heater? Holy smokes. Of there are snacks here. <laughs> How many more floors do we have? We have next the battery room. We have to sign it. We have, we have a pen? No. Whoa. It's 1969. No. Oh. What? What? You might have just turned it off. Well, it definitely wasn't working when it was on. Oh, Open yeah. it up, see what's inside. Oh, you're oh. gonna get claustrophobic. Oh, this door's already open. There better not be any more dead birds in here. Dude, why is it so warm out here? I don't know if I want to be up here, though, because of lightning. We're gonna get struck by lightning for sure. Oh, yeah, right. Going up there. Bad idea in a lightning storm, guys. <laughs> Look at that a big crack in the earth right there. I have phone service! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Holy crap, you can see the entire rock from up here. This is where they think they do their climate research. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> so here is the uh, light beam for the top of the lighthouse. We are currently on the tippy top. It's been uh, modernized, but somehow the birds have still gotten here. What's really cool about this lighthouse is Canadian and US scientists use it for climate research and monitoring. So it's not officially 100% abandoned. This lighthouse is owned by the Superior Watershed Partnership. They are trying to raise over $2 million to help restore the building and improve interior conditions for more climate research. You can help out by going to the website in the link in description. White waves equals bad. That means wind. We have noticed that this room is definitely the warmest room of the entire lighthouse, but the one down below it might be the spot. So I think we're gonna choose this room for all of us to sleep in, because there's no way we're all sleeping outside. Outside? Yeah, why would that be an option? <laughs> that has UV on it? Yeah, look at it. What, what the? the? What? What is that? What does that say? Hit me. Hit me. I don't like being here. <laughs> this all seems normal during the day, but just wait till nighttime comes. What happens then? While we were on our way out here, they told us that a guy actually died here in the 60s because of an explosion. And they say that his ghost still lives or something. I don't know. I don't believe in that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> We've explored the entire lighthouse except for the dungeons, which we are going to enter once it's dark outside. We brought a goodie bag full of food. Pop-Tarts. We got Cheez-Its, bagels, and beef jerky. Peanut butter bagel for lunch. Peanut butter bagel, please. For dinner, we brought a stove and we're cooking fajitas. I wish we had brought like camping chairs. There's really not anywhere to sit down. Unless That's you want nice. to sit in the bird poop on the ground. We've done a lot of overnights in our day, but this one, definitely one of a kind. What are you doing? This is a secondary bed in case I don't like the room we're in. 
Oh my. Can you guys just imagine staying out here for months at a time? Because apparently that's what people did when they would man this lighthouse. They'd be out here for a couple of months. I mean, what do you do? <laughs> just take the camera and look over the edge. <laughs> I set it down right here. Went to the top so we could film our cool B-roll scene with the drone. And I come back as soon as the wind picks up and right before I get to it. <laughs> well, they're not doing the fishing poles. Maybe they can fish it out. Not even your jacket, dude. It's Dave's. Put this rope through and then pull the rope through it. You know what I'm saying? I know. Dave gave me that jacket because I didn't bring enough gear. He said I would freeze it out if I didn't have it. Put this rope through and then pull the rope through it. You know what I'm saying? We just assembled the fishing pole. Don't worry, Harry. Oh! <laughs> Apparently there's tons of trout in this lake. Believe it or not, this is a lake if you haven't already known that. <laughs> oh my! Nothing happened. Apparently Caleb's a fisherman. How do you do this thing? How do you cast? Oh my gosh. Whoa! There's definitely no fish here. It's way too cold. You can't assume you know what the fish do in their spare time in the cold weather. Yeah, it's called hibernation. Hibernation! Did you get one? Let's go. Pull it in. How long do you think it'd take you to catch one? Probably never. What, what happened to the feathers? Did something eat that off? Oh my gosh, Caleb. Help. How did that fly all the way out here? That's what we're wondering. There's no way that thing could fly to shore. What the heck? What? He's like, he's like Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider-Man bird. Good night. We're never going to fish with Look this. Look at this freaking cord. Hey, Shut up. <laughs> It's time for a pizza break, but this time, ice cream. Have you ever had pizza flavored ice cream? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I need to work. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yikes. Dude, it's like they put actual like, pizza in it. It tastes like pepperoni marinara sauce. You like that? Oh, okay. What? That is like disturb a sudden. It literally has cheese, egg yolks, mozzarella cheese powder, tomatoes. They weren't kidding. It's actually pizza ingredients in ice cream. Oh, it is a woman's medium. What? That was a close one. Whew. We're running a train, guys. <laughs> There's only so much you can do with this lighthouse, so we decided to have a picnic outside for dinner. Woohoo! Ooh, spider bird. This bird can literally attach himself to the side of any wall at any time, just like Spider-Man. We are 40 miles away from land. He was born and raised on the lighthouse. We didn't get cheese. This is all we have. What a delicious dinner. <laughs> Uh, there may be another storm approaching. I think there was a little rain up here, but also sunset is happening soon. Holy! It's cold! What are you doing out there? How'd you get in there? Is it a hole? Oh yeah. Is it raining? It's cold. What the? Hi. You guys are not gonna believe the sunset we are getting to experience out here. Wow. What do you think, fellas? It's beautiful. It doesn't get much this, better than that. This makes this entire experience worth it. Just look at that. If we were out here for like months, this would be like the thing you look forward to every day. Yeah. Oh coming yeah. Up, coming up here and just looking at the sunset. There's about to be a flash of green right when the sun is about to cross over the horizon. That, Keep looking. That is part Keep of the Keep looking, Caribbean. you're gonna miss it. <laughs> you are. It's not. Wait, at what point does that happen? At the, once it, right before it leaves the horizon. And what happens again? A flash of green. <laughs> Wait for it. Uh, yep, Let's it's see. gone. Well, I've seen it in person. I don't know why. I don't know why it didn't happen just now. I think you're full of it. What? No way. What? Guys. <gasps> oh, the lighthouse. It's activating. <laughs> this is how cold it is in here. Watch. But then look, it stays like forever. Why are we staying here? <laughs> Look at that. Hey, you guys like our sleeping situation? Don't worry, we're not gonna keep this on all night. We're just trying to do what we can to stay warm. How many hours of sleep do you think you'll get tonight? Three. You don't want any more? I would like to have more. <laughs> You're trying to be realistic. 
Dang, wow. dude. Oh, you got orange. This is the strangest shot. You're in a mummy bag with a glow stick with a big box of Cheez-Its next to a propane grill. <laughs> <laughs> in a lighthouse. It's pitch dark out now. I think it's time we go explore the dungeons below the lighthouse. Caleb, you nervous? Yeah, I don't want to do it. Who goes down to the deep dark dungeon first? You're already in front. There's monsters, you hear them? Yes. Why does it smell like a pepper oh, pig? Oh, it's wet. Oh, uh, keep going. Oh my gosh, dude, this is huge down here. What? What? Oh my land. Where's this, this water coming from? This can't be good. Oh my gosh, it goes down again. Nah. Uh -uh. <laughs> Don't fall over the stairs. You're covered in the ice. Nice. This air does not smell normal. Oh. oh. I don't think we should go down here. Keep going. I don't need to go. There's legit three paths. Dude, where the crap do these go? The map said oh. nothing about tunnels. Dude, watch your step. Watch your step. Oh! Dude, I feel like I'm in like an episode of Poppy's Playtime. Oh god! Keep playing, keep playing. Oh. This tunnel has a monster. Dude, I can't go any further. I'm sorry, guys. I'll go. What the heck is this? Gosh, dude, what the heck is this? This doesn't look like a safe place to be. What the heck? Look at that. Where the crap does this go? I found more UV writing. What? Where are we right now? This is absurd. But this is like leaking. That can't be good. You think? You can't go what? any further, boys. What the heck is what this? Is Watch that? your hand! You hit a crystal! There's something big over here. What is it? Oh, what? Keep knocking stuff over, dude. Oh. Yeah, we can't go. This whole ground is all wet. What is this doing down here, Caleb? Some weird tunnels down here, boys. It certainly was creepy. I don't want to stay down here any longer, you? No, I'm okay. I'm good. upstairs in the lighthouse at night at night to check out what it looks like oh that's cool i wonder if you can see it from outside it's so dude foggy. no way and the air is warm look how foggy it is dude it's raining out here wow i'm getting tripped on dude it's insane dude no way dude where did all this fog come no, from <laughs> dude, look at this look Whoa! Right. It's Mace Windu! Fight me! Dude, look, the moon looks orange on camera. Whoa! Ding! <laughs> Dude, it's so foggy out. It's nuts. I don't get it. It, it, it feels just kind of warm. Well, hopefully no ships run into us tonight while we try and sleep. We're gonna get in our sleeping bags now because we're tired and who knows what time it is. The lighthouse is really creepy at night. It was hard for any of us to get some sleep. We decided to make some glow stick art since it was so dark. Oh, I'm so tired. How was the lighthouse slumber? <laughs> nicest sleep I've ever gotten. Imagine you have to do this for months on end, maintaining the light. I miss Dave. I want Dave. Free to get out or just cost to come back. Just cost to come back. I think we're in trouble. What's wrong? I don't know if Dave's gonna go to get us. Dave. The water's calm at least, but there's no way Dave can get us in this fog. Dave, please, if you're watching. We need you to get to the lighthouse and get us home. <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. I just need to get home to my son. That's my line. <laughs> One thing we did bring was a satellite phone. So this thing connects to your phone and basically you can get service anywhere because of satellites. So we're gonna try to use this to contact Dave and see where he's at if he's coming. I'm assuming it turns on somehow. Is this a power button? It doesn't seem like it's the power button. Did no work? Uh. Are you serious? This is supposed to be our way to contact Dave. Is this like a toy or what is this? Uh, have you ever used it before? I've never needed to use it. All right, well, I guess we'll just have to hope and pray Dave just shows up randomly. What? That definitely doesn't work now. Day two here at the loneliest lighthouse in the world. 
and all there is left to do is just wait, which is basically the theme of being at the lighthouse, is just sitting around and wait. He's expected to be here at 10, but if he doesn't show up at 10, then we have no clue what's going on. What is that, Caleb? I have to take a poop. I don't think he's coming until later, maybe tomorrow. Don't say that. I'm not spending no. yet again another day on the stinking island. You did a good job cooking with what you had, okay? It's gonna be hot. Yeah, so? <gasps> oh my. Overall, I have high hopes. Yeah, we could survive a few more days here, fellas. That's that Dave. Me? Is that a Dave or an airplane? No. I don't hear anything. I literally hear a subtle hum from over there, and that's where we came from. That's totally Dave, that's definitely Dave. Dave. Get all our stuff, we're getting out of here. Guys, pack the caravan. I can hear Dave, I think. I don't hear anything. Stop. Listen, <laughs> Dave is officially late. Uh, it's official. A shadow true. glob. Can you, you see that on camera? Yeah, you see that? No. Here, come closer. Oh, I do see it. Yes. We're here! Yeah! Thank God! You made it! A little hard finding the vlog. Grease <laughs> call, I don't know if you guys want to see another day. No! Get some interesting footage. Oh yeah. This overnight was so insane. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed it. And just like that, the lighthouse disappeared into the fog. The end. Frostbite can happen in minutes. When outside temperatures plummet to sub-zero and wind chills dip into the negative numbers, you might be surprised how fast frostbite can happen. It can occur in as little as 10 minutes when the skin is exposed to temps that are negative 10 or lower. To push ourselves to the limits, we are beginning this survival challenge with nothing. The only gear we can bring is what fits in our bags. And to make matters worse, we can't use any of it until we get to the campsite. With today's weather conditions, frostbite will start around 20 to 30 minutes. And our campsite is a 10 minute hike up the mountain. Not giving us a large window to avoid frostbite. We are at Shields, we got our bags, we're going inside, to fill them up and get our supplies. This whole challenge is made sure I don't get frostbite. This is only a 46 liter bag. That's not that much room to work with. I gotta keep in mind, I need food, shelter supplies, and warmth. This priority has gotta be pants and jacket. This is everything in one thing. We're getting it. Get be strategic. Plenty of room for more. Heated mittens. I gotta see this lumberjack jacket. Heated shirt. It's gonna be negative 12 degrees Celsius. If I have a successful fire in this, no problem. Who says successful fire? Like that's ever gonna happen. Ah! I'm gonna get a jet boil so I can boil some hot water. So I'm getting these fire sticks and this uh, flint striker and this should be able to get Rick off my back. I'm gonna start this fire within five minutes. I'm serious. Shelter acquired, get out of here. I was gonna get that. I already got it. I'm gonna get a hammock and get a sub-zero sleeping bag and I'm set. That's gonna be your shelter and I'll be fine. I will not get cold. Yes, you will. I'm buying several of these tiny emergency blankets and going to build what it has on the back here. Tent structure. Come on. Oh. Oh. I'm like literally out of room in my bag, but I had to get a prank. A little cotton swab blaster. And this mini tiny drone. There's got to be a way to fit this all in. My bag is basically completely full right now. I think I might see if any of these shoes will fit. We're back from the store, and we are going to try and put all our items in our bag and see if it fits. $3,000 later, and we are heading up the mountain. This challenge ends when we survive eight hours without getting frostbite or having to go to the hospital. Eight hours starts now. Go back to the campsite. <laughs> and our campsite is a 10 minute hike up the mountain. And the rules of this challenge are, once we get to our campsite, we can then open our bag and use whatever we bought. So we gotta hurry, cause I'm cold. My thumbs are the first thing starting to go numb. I'm 
starting to not feel my toes, my face, my arms, my lower half, my upper half, and my hair. Right, we have made it to the turnoff of the campsite. Finally. Oh, oh come on, baby. Yes. Ah. Woo, woo. Yeah. I didn't get any base layers. So anytime there's a little breeze, boy, it sure sends me shivers. I read online that fingers, nose, and toes are the most what my friend is trying to say is they are most susceptible to frostbite. Everybody here has to make a fire. The last one to do it loses an item from their bag. Starting when? Now! While well, those guys get set up, I'm gonna try to find a good campsite to set up my own. The guys have no idea that Rick is having me participate in the same challenge on the other side of the mountain to show you what a real survival expert would do in the same situation. The guys can use me for help at any time, but Rick said I'm not allowed to let them know I'm here. When you're out in the woods, you always wanna be responsible and you always wanna think about preserving things. So I try not to cut down trees that are alive, try not to destroy things because that's how we keep things beautiful. Where's my lighter? I don't know what I'm doing. What else is new? Easy work. This is where I'm gonna put my fire. I have some cardboard for my blanket that I can use as fire starter. Since all of this out here is snowy and wet, the log is actually protecting all of this nice dry tinder. Please work. Now Caleb does not have a good history with fires on camping trips. Rick, I don't want to hear it. A lot of people think that it's just about smacking the thing as hard as you can. Are you serious? There's actually a technique using a fire starter. If you don't do it right, you're never going to start a fire ever. If you do it from out here, that's never actually going to spark. There we go. Who's going to lose this challenge? Caleb. Who's most likely to lose this challenge? Caleb. Caleb. <laughs> Get it lit and then let it spread. Oh boy! Caleb! I've already got mine going, buddy. What? What? Ow, Franklin! Burn you cardboard. You were my only hope. Come on. Justin's fire went out. Oh. Fire went His out. fire went out. Fire doesn't went count. Out. That's right. It doesn't count. It has to stay lit. Come on, you rat. Dude, Caleb, man. No more fire striking bullcrap. Ah! Oh. <laughs> we got ourselves a little fire going. The cardboard's lit. Oh, it is lit. Ah! You're kidding me! <laughs> <laughs> you can't put out my fire, <coughs> my fire that quick. So close. Oh, wait. Ooh. Some sticks in there. I clearly won the fire building challenge. Dude, I, I have no idea who lost though. It's like they both did it at the same time. Nice job on the fires. Unfortunately though, you both started them at the exact same time. Both of you lose. Both of you guys have to lose an item. I already know what I'm picking. You can have my knife. Yes! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can have the skewer pegs. <laughs> this for your tent? Yep. Your shelter? But I don't need it. Because of that little challenge, I didn't have time to set up my shelter yet. Oh, I should have burnt this. Well, I'm just kind of getting a nice fire going. As the day goes on, it's supposed to get colder and colder, so I want to keep this fire nice and warm. And then I'm going to work on my shelter. <laughs> Bet you never thought about doing this, huh? You definitely look the part, but that's about it. I got my hammock, oh. and then I'm gonna put a below freezing sleeping bag in it, and it's gonna be like a little cocoon. Uh, think about hanging it right over the fire. That way it keeps you warm. Wait, 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 wait. I am so confused. Oh. So I just got done setting up my hammock. I got my tarp over the top of the hammock, and the hammock underneath. Just climb right on in. Good to go. It says I go diagonal, but I don't get it. Huh? These are also really cold, but I can't work in mittens, so my fingers are actually freezing right now. You keep dipping that in the fire. <laughs> Aha! That's not smart. Well, I at least try it out. See what happens when I get in this bad boy. It's gonna start sagging. You're gonna be the holiday ham. Oh, oh! Look, look at that. Oh, oh! Look at my feet, look how warm they are. This is a quick episode of Mythbusters. I never actually believed that farts make fires bigger. So here we go. <laughs> <laughs> that, a fart? that was a poop. <laughs> My hands are so red. These poles are so cold. I know I have gloves, guys. It's just mittens aren't good for construction. Now, which way is down? Ow. Stop recording you when I look like an idiot. <laughs> All the time, though. Ow. All right, I think I'm about ready to start working on my shelter. Well, Andrew has a actual tent. Caleb has a hammock. I'm using only the environment. You guys are gonna be very impressed with what I'm about to build. That's way too much wood. How? You just totally smothered your fire. No, I did not. <laughs> no, I did not. This hammock is, whoa, a little saggy. Oh, my back almost fell on my fire. Well 
guys, we are officially an hour in, seven more hours to go. My toes are freezing. I got holes in my shoes. We're only an hour in. I feel like my toes might actually get frostbite. Should you tell the guys? No, definitely not. You don't tell them anything. I will. Hey! Oh, ow! <laughs> ow! There's a tree there! <laughs> what is wrong with you? I actually really hurt. This is actually pretty warm. It's like a dolphin flipper. Everybody has to bring me a rock, and the smallest rock loses. What's the punishment? You have to strip down and stay in the snow for 10 minutes. Oh, man. Wait, he didn't say go. <laughs> All right, you guys got one minute. Three, two, one, go. Dude, Justin's going far away. 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh, fella. <coughs> Is that one yours? That's Caleb's. Uh, uh, oh. oh, yeah! <laughs> 10 minutes in the snow in your unders. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. <laughs> All right, man. Let's go. <laughs> what the heck? If I just drop this into your shelter, do you piss? Yeah, I'd burn your hammock. Oh. You okay, man? Yeah. Some would say that it's snowing even more than before, and it's getting colder outside. Oh, man. Look how tranquil it is. This is not. This is pain. What is this? Oh. All right, Andrew. Ten minutes is up, man. Oh, I hit Andrew's clothes. Huh? What? <laughs> Get the move. Hey! Where's my pants? You gotta go find him. I see it! Ah! Yes! Ah! <laughs> Dude, you're just full of great ideas. What can I say? You're breaking up firewood. You always want to do it in a safe way. It'd be really hard for medical people to get to you and that kind of stuff. So you always want to make sure that you're breaking it smartly instead of doing something where like you hit it on a rock because then it can like fly back and hit you in the face or like jumping on it or different oh. things like that. Oh, does that smack your butthole? If you got bigger pieces, a good thing to do is actually wedge them in between trees and snap them. <laughs> <sighs> Andrew, help. He healed, you gotta help. Wow, that actually worked. Thanks, fellas. Guys, this is a real challenge. I have got boogers, okay? It's cold. Let me introduce you to my survival shelter. So as you can see, we've got the tent, we've got the campfire, which I like very nicely. Flip this open, and I've got my chair right here. And then this whole side here is reflective body heat uh, blanket thing. As the heat comes from outside to inside, it reflects back in, just creates this vortex of sauna. Get in like this. Once you're in here, I've got a cozy blanket that we can wrap around us. I can hang out like this, like the fire, or if I want to get out of the snow, in I go. And that's the gist of my house. Well, as you can see, my structure's pretty much set up. And now I'm using these emergency blankets and going to surround the outside of it so snow doesn't get in, reflects heat, keeps me a little more warm. All right, let's see how big this blanket is. What is that on your head? My light. Really? Yeah. That's your light? Oh. Ah. Oh. Hey! Fire's getting pretty hot, so gotta make some adjustments. What are you doing? Uh, that's 
it's much better. I literally just realized, I was like, man, it's cold. I have the AC zippers <laughs> down the whole time. Oh, oh man, like, my armpits. Dummy, dude. <laughs> Isn't that where all your heat comes out, your armpits? A lot of it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you gotta get back up though. Oh crap. <laughs> As you can see, I moved the fire inside my hut. A little more efficient if I want to sleep, cook food. I burnt a hole in my jacket and we I just got this for the video. And this jacket is like 160 bucks. Well, I didn't get it. Andrew bought it for me. What is that? Are you mad? <laughs> <laughs> we got a big problem. What's up? Well, I gotta go pee. But the thing is, I have to take my whole suit off oh. to go pee. And I don't have anything under this. All right, fellas, don't look. Hey, I said no looking. <laughs> Mission success. The batteries in my gloves are dead. Already? So my site, I made one mistake. They actually sold a tarp that goes over the hammock that's actually, it protects you from rain and snow. And I couldn't fit it in my bag. <laughs> oh, did it work? That was liquid this time. <laughs> you went from poop to liquid. Neither of these have been gas. <laughs> Perfect. What are you doing? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> oh. Is your butt okay? <laughs> Challenge time. You guys all three have to cook me dinner. And the loser has to hike this mountain right behind you guys. Deal? Deal. Deal. I am concerned for your safety. Rick and I have the same taste in food, so I'm yes, concerned for your safety. <laughs> Anywhere you stand in this camp village, everyone's campfire is blowing smoke opposite directions. So it's up. Just... <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> All right, Rick, beef jerky hot dog. But what it is, is it's actually a chicken sausage. That way it has multiple different types of meats to really bring what? out the flavor. <laughs> oh, mm. how good is that? That's it. Rick, your hamburger is done. Oh. Uh, fortunately, it doesn't have any condiments, but cheese, lettuce, what? just kind of your basic woods burger. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Fresh out of the oven. Man. That is delicious. I am thoroughly impressed. Glad you enjoyed it. It's my turn. I'm the last guy. Oh no. Is that gonna be good? <laughs> no, Rick. All right, I hope you saved room for dessert. You know, most people consider dessert the best meal. Dark chocolate cheesecake. Here you are. Cheesecake, yes. Man. Don't look inside. <laughs> <laughs> is it edible? Yeah. It's gonna be good. Dude, what? <laughs> Did you even mix it? Yes. Okay. You're full. Verdict is in. Justin won the best <laughs> burger. Yes! But for dessert, it was shockingly terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the hike, my friend. There's no way. Oh, yeah. yeah. He put beef jerky on a hot dog. Yes, That's great. He loves That's beef jerky. Know your judge. <sighs> he loves dessert. <laughs> Not powder. It's like this whole camping adventure is rigged to make me lose every challenge. I mean, you just gotta get good, son. My toes are already freezing. I got holes in my sneakers. That's a you problem. I don't wanna go up this hill, this mountain. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna have one of Justin's burgers while you do that. Goodbye, campsite. I better throw a log on the fire or I'll come back to nothing. It's gonna be the worst hike ever. So the snow has really picked up. It's probably tripled or quadrupled what it was when we first got here. This is like the first time I'm actually genuinely nervous because like it's so cold now that even with these on, I'm still freezing. Yeah, it's getting way colder. As you can see, even my fort is starting to come apart. Keep getting wood though, because it keeps blowing out so fast. It's so cold. Oh man, I'm like all out of energy, but I'm like frozen. This suit is so cold. And you're trying to make coffee. <laughs> it's getting way colder, way more snow. The wind is kicking up. Oh, nuts, now I'm lost. My feet are freezing, guys. I don't think you understand how cold it is. I just want to go home. Holy! Oh! Ow! Yes, yes. 
Holy! Oh! Ow! <laughs> oh! My sleeping bag was built for negative 10 degrees Celsius, and it's actually gotten colder than that. So now I can't even use my sleeping bag to keep my feet warm. To keep this fire going, and I hope I make it to the last eight hours. You didn't get shoes at the store? I am an idiot. So you can see how I'm putting these boughs up top, and how much that shelters it from the inside. So if you had to, you could sleep in there. Obviously, you'd want to walk off the door, but that would be an adequate shelter. My strategy is to literally just sit by this fire. All the flames have gone out, but there's boiling hot ash right here. This feels like an eternity. Thankfully, my feet are warm, my hands are warm. I just gotta be able to finish this out. I don't think I can finish the challenge. Why? My toes are legit frozen. <laughs> are you afraid you're gonna have to actually go to the hospital? Yeah, I gotta cut my toe off if it's like extreme frostbite. We have 25 minutes left till the challenge is over. I don't even know if I can do that. Well guys, the battery on our main camera just died because of how cold it is out right now. Rick's trying to get it restarted. <sighs> but this is miserable. This is way harder than I thought. I'm actually scared. Well, at least we have a little flame going left. Andrew, are you okay? Also, I have no idea what time it is because it's been hazy, cloudy, and snowy all day. I feel like I'm going insane. Three, two, one. Boy. <sighs> It's officially been eight hours. <laughs> we did it. We gotta go back to the car now. Oh, thank God. Oh, oh. This sucks. We did it. What are we gonna do next? This is the world's most dangerous lighthouse. And we have to stay here for the next 24 hours. Trapped on top of a jagged and extremely high cliff in Iceland sits this old lighthouse. Thousands of miles away from home and in a foreign country, we couldn't be more nervous. This lighthouse has no electricity, no phone service, and the literal only way to get there is via helicopter. And on top of all that, the wind conditions need to be absolutely perfect for us to land on the micro helicopter pad. This sounds impossible. We've tried to film this video for years, and this is our third time flying to Iceland in hopes of staying at this legendary location. We officially made it to Iceland. It's time to go to our rental cars and see if we can get to this lighthouse. We just got to the Airbnb, so it's time to drop off our bags and head to the helicopter place. Go time. Today's the day, guys. We're going on the helicopter to the world's most dangerous lighthouse. I am a little bit nervous about the clouds and wind in the sky right now. This is exactly the similar weather we experienced last time, which caused problems. Is that the helicopter he's on the phone with? No chance. All I heard was no chance. That's all I heard. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> is the weather supposed to get any better or is it supposed to stay windy all day? Oh, please no. I have a bad feeling about this phone call. Well, the news we didn't want. Can't fly. Can't fly because of wind conditions. The lighthouse is out in the ocean. So the wind out there is obviously different than here in the city. He said, we have to delay until further notice. Guys, we cannot come all the way to Iceland again and wait an entire week again and not ever get to film this video. Wind gusts are up to 20 miles an hour. Okay, that sounds like a lot. Tomorrow is 60 and there's no cloud emoji. 53, sunny. If the wind is not existent, we can fly. I'm almost relieved I don't have to get on a helicopter today, but I still know that I have to do it tomorrow. So it's just delaying the inevitable. Yes, that's right, the inevitable. We're doing this. We will not be denied this video. Do you watch YouTube? Yeah. Have you seen Jace do on YouTube? Yes. You have? No way. Oh. Yes! yes. Hey. Okay. Yep. Have a good one. We have only seen kids, zero parents. <laughs> they might be elves. Okay, finally an adult. We can go inside. So the next day, it's looking really promising that the helicopter will be able to take us to the lighthouse. We have 50 minutes to get our survival bags packed, and we have to go to the grocery store and get snacks. The Iceland pilot told us we have 15 minutes to get there or else. We're on our way to the helicopter now, but first we gotta get snacks and pray. So we're pulling up to Cronin 921. <laughs> <laughs> Literally the only grocery store open. Since we're in Iceland, we have to get all Iceland themed things. No standard American snacks. Can I get meat? Is that American? Yes, you can get meat. But meat's no, from America. The helicopter pilot, he's gonna leave without us probably. What are you doing? You can't cook a stir fry on the island. No, oh, man, I'm just looking. They have Prime here, 399 kroner. No American things. This One. is UK. KSI? Oh, you're right. Uh. I got official Iceland drinks. I got us some meatballs. 
cheese. <laughs> this snack is gonna be like a delicacy. Thank yeah. you. Go through. Do we need receipt? Oh. No. Okay, oh, wow. we're going. I think that guy was trying to get rid of us. Yeah, he, yeah. Didn't he say get out of here? Yeah, he's like, go through. I honestly have no idea how we're gonna survive overnight at this lighthouse. I don't know if I got warm enough clothes. Isn't it cold here? Yeah, but the low is like the same as the high here somehow. And it doesn't ever get dark. People in Iceland, they believe in elves. Some of them do. Not just Apparently, some. how many percentage? It's like above 60%, which I don't also believe. 50% of Icelandic people believe that elves and trolls exist. Are you serious? 65%. Seems like Iceland's full of mysteries and very sus. <laughs> <laughs> Helicopter pilot should be in there waiting for us. I can't believe we're really doing this. This project literally feels like years in the making. We have to make it happen. We can't keep coming back to Iceland. Like you are aware that the lighthouse and the helipad are quite small and it's quite dangerous area. Yes. yes. We will not shut down the engines. It's going to be almost hovering while we exit the helicopter. My words are the law and you do what I say. You don't know what the <laughs> you're getting into. <laughs> really? yeah, it's all right. You will, you will find out. My name is Jon, your pilot. We have another pilot with us. If I die, because I'm getting so old. No, I'm <laughs> oh, man. Please not on our trip. <laughs> One leg. What am I going to be harnessed to? Me. You? Yep. Oh yeah, loosen it. Take it up. Come on, Isaac. Skinny thoughts. Make myself small. Can you get it up? I'll take it off. No, man. Yeah, it's maxed up. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just like put it on a jacket. These are in case we go into the ocean. Yes. Just so you know, he is very nervous. Yes, I can I can hear that. Nah. <laughs> Nobody has died today. What about yesterday? Uh, that's a different story. <laughs> the helicopter's so small. Don't mention it. It's tiny, dude. All right, it's go time. My heart's been so fast. I'm nervous. There's no escape. is the only way on and off of this lighthouse. Safety rules. The rocks here are very slippery. The only inhabitants are the birds. They will throw up at you when you walk through them. As you can see, this one is getting his vomit up to his throat. Everything on the edge is unsafe. The only safe place okay. is on the helipad. Oh, 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 ah, stop it! You wanna go? The bird just threw up at me. I used to go all the way down and they used to climb up. Climb? The chain. There's no way. Has anyone died? No, but. Let's not stop that trend today. No, yeah, no. definitely not. Have you seen the video with Kaleo? Yes. It was shot here. It was multiple heli, heli trips like this. Just passing through, fellas or ladies. Oh! oh. Stop oh. spitting at me. That's so <laughs> gross. Dude, it's kind of scary because it just happens. I'm, we don't want your eggs. I would have never in a million years guessed a bird's attack would be throwing up. Egg. Well guys, we have officially made it to the world's most dangerous lighthouse. This is also probably the world's smallest lighthouse. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. The previous lighthouse was multiple stories. This is literally just this room and upstairs. There's also a bottle of Coke that was left here. Let's see what year it is. 2002. Ooh, man, this thing's Dude, old. But even the lid is like so rusted. Take a sip. Oh no. Dude, you gotta do it for the vine. Did you, did you got to do it? Well, we'll think about it. <laughs> right before getting on the helicopter, I was like, I don't know if I want to do this. And really? I was like getting really scared. Me too. That feeling of like facing a fear and doing something really difficult, I don't know, it just felt really cool. And I, after we were up in there, I'm like, yeah. I'm going to do this. I'm dying to see what upstairs is. <laughs> All right, how about you go first? How's it look? Cool. Playing a tight fit. Mm -hmm. You can come on up. Help. Yeah, I'm gonna help. Oh, he's infested with tetanus. 
It's not every day you get to stand right next to a giant light bulb. <laughs> Can you see me through the light, Andrew? <laughs> those gotta be a barfing birds are all over the place. <laughs> Dude, I'm scared of those things now. Barfing birds are a new superhero. <laughs> my friend can actually do that. He just spews on command. He puked on my foot once. <laughs> That's disgusting. All right, down the hatch. Splooge from holes. What is this? Splooge. Drink it, good. Uh. And there are hundreds of seagulls out here and they are constantly repopulating this island. Anytime you see a bird just sitting down, eggs. Watch, we're right here. Don't get too close. He's already about to barf. He's hiding behind the bush. Oh. He's taking barf stance. Andrew, go, go, go check that dude out. You already got puked on. him out. Yeah, go, go. I'm sure he's fine. You see how much barf came out of those guys? Look how many egg spawners there are. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six. Do not peek around the corner. It's like a horror film. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Dude, what was that sound? That was him. He puked. Also, fun fact, the island right there is actually the island that Ryan Trahan stayed at. The loneliest house on Earth. We're so close. I'm trying to get kind of hungry. I'm starving. Okay, guys, for our first activity, Dead Man's Belay. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get our bags, go over to the helipad, set up camp. That's not what dead man's oh. belay is. <laughs> We're gonna belay down. What? That's what he just said. He just told us we're belaying down on the other side. We're going to the other side of the helipad. We have to be connected via belay. That's why it's called dead man's belay. You die if you're not belayed. The hero's going first. That's not true. He said hero of the show goes first. That's false. Is it you? Because it's not me. I am always the hero. I am Beyonce always. Yeah, you don't need to clip in. It's just uh, safety work wise. What? <laughs> The hero's an idiot. We just walked across this to get... Nope. This is safety. Okay. This is very intimidating. All right, jump. No, that's not how you do that. I'm mainly intimidated about the birds. <laughs> okay, that one's solid. How far should I go? As far as you possibly can. Okay, this is as far as I possibly can go. Guys, look at this. I still, like, can't even believe I'm standing here right now. You're the hero! Yeah, guys? He's scared. I'm not scared. You're scared. It's pretty exciting. We are about to set up our lunch headquarters out here on the helicopter pad. It's gonna be a great time. Come on. How come every lighthouse we go to is just covered in bird poo and weird birds? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, now this is the life, fellas. While Isaac sets up our grill, I'm going to try Kim's chips. Icelandic. This Whoa. is... What, what? Really salty? Very salty. That kind of makes sense. Ice, Iceland is salt land. Or I brought a trusty survival flint kit to light this barbecue. Get this guy on Survivor, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> We're definitely not getting hot dogs, fellas. Why did you get that instead of a lighter? Really? This is officially the first fire that I was able to successfully start. Get this man on Survivor. <laughs> Icelandic hot dogs for lunch. Kielbasa. For dinner, we have chicken and meatballs. Ah, uh ah, -uh. say the correct way. We have hemshorn. <laughs> nope, the middle one. Kajunkluk Labar. <laughs> you guys want to collab with me? Icelandic. This is a passion fruit and lime beverage. Not sure exactly what kind of beverage. <laughs> Let's open and, oh, <laughs> collab. <laughs> we have to cheers to initiate the collab. The most epic Iceland collab yet. All right, cheers to initiate collab. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. It tastes like farts. No chance. I don't know where you're getting the farts from. Who's got the wieners? God. We don't have any buns, but it doesn't matter. Aha. Uh -huh. Cider snips. <laughs> <laughs> My guess was that it's like a pickle sauce. Okay, you're guessing pickle, pickle sauce. sauce. What are you guessing? I don't know. Ketchup. I'm going with it's like a secret sauce, Thousand Island vibes. We'll see who's right. Hot dogs are done. <laughs> we don't know what's about to come out, so. Mystery sauce. Chick-fil-A sauce? Oh, yellow. Mm -hmm. That's not yellow, that's like brown. I don't know, this just might be hot. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of sauce is it? I can't tell. <clears throat> Ugh, ugh, you nasty. It's what? like a, a very light, sweet, toned down mustard. Nobody would have guessed mustard coming out of this bottle. Do you believe in elves? In elves. The hidden people. The hidden people? Yeah, we don't talk about that. Oh, the mystery thickens. What do you mean we don't talk about it? Not, don't, you don't want to jeopardize things. 
What? <laughs> Elf binoculars. Dang, these are good. A fun fact about that island over there. It's bird poop, it's not actually lava. <laughs> oh, you're right. You know, the pictures make it seem like lava. Yeah. But it's not. This is a POV, you in Iceland with your own binoculars. Yeah, it looks pretty lame. Oh my gosh, is that nervous? Not really. That's not nervous. Nope. You're making me nervous. Oh my. Wind's blowing. I just peed on a seal's head. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Look, there he is. He's under the water. Oh, I do see him. That white thing? Yeah. yeah. Oh. There he is. There he is. Whoa. Hey, what up? No way. You, you peed on him? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <gasps> it went, it went. Hey! Never in my life have I been peeing and all of a sudden a seal pops out of the toilet. <laughs> Do you Boy. think a seal's defensive mechanism is to barf? I'm wondering how many animals barf. You guys look so sick up close. <laughs> so there's actually another side of the lighthouse that has an old winch that they would use to bring up all the materials to build this lighthouse. But we kind of got to climb. Is that nightmare bird still around the corner? Yes. Dude, that's the one that spit on me. He's definitely going to spit when we go up the ladder. Dude, he looks pissed. He remembers me too. The ladder. This ladder. Dude, everywhere we look, egg, egg, more eggs. Hold the rope, don't slip. There's the big old device. They got this big thing here by hand. No helicopters, no nothing. This whole island? That. Oh. It used to be a uh, a metal rope. And look, it's like all like formed together. It looks like a petrified rope. I'm actually pretty excited. I didn't know how much exploring we'd be able to do here but we've covered a lot of ground on this little island. Yeah, from above, when I saw the rest of the mountain, I was like, there's no way we can go on any of that. Too sketchy. Yeah. Here we are, our fearless leader. <laughs> Help! Are they coming this way? I can't tell. Looks like they're coming this way. <laughs> they might have thought you really need help. You think they can hear me from all the way over here yell help? Yelled again? Help! <laughs> you did it louder the first time. Okay, cut back to the first time. Help! Water carries sound. Pretty play, far. Now play both clips at the same time. Help! Also, your frantic waving. You think they could see me? Yeah. Yeah, we can see them. Yeah, they have binoculars. You think pirates aren't always got binoculars? I have fashioned a homemade fish hook out of pieces of the barbecue. I think this thing will catch a fish. It's a tradition now to use a fishing pole to try and catch some fish. So we're making a homemade rig to hopefully do that. I'm going to be competing with the reel by hand method using this paracord. It's not gonna get to the bottom. 15 meters. Yeah, you try with that and we'll see who wins. All right. Team Andrew and Justin with Andrew's homemade Wait, this. Whoa, 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 whoa. You just saw me make that. <laughs> you, you guys are using our dinner to catch fish? Imagine we catch a fish. It's going to be way bigger than this. Do you know how to use that? Yeah, boy. Look at our weight. It's a nail I found inside the lighthouse. No way. We're in the water. You got it all twisted. <laughs> Who did that? Look at the. <laughs> Who put oh, this no. under here? I didn't do that. I was just reeling it in. Oh no, looks like Team Isaac's gonna win. You're not even gonna hit the ocean. What if nope. you catch a seal and you can't reel them up? One of these days, we'll be able to use a fishing pole without it immediately. First cast breaking. <laughs> Meatball still attached. Three, two, what? Oops. Oh, Gonzo. I think I'm gonna catch a seagull. <laughs> I'm using half a meatball because I have a realistic expectation of what a fish is going to actually attack. Uh, that's really far. I'm hoping mine actually makes it down to the ocean. Oh my nest. You've got fishing line going everywhere. Oh great. Duck forever? Well, you can't really go down there and get it. What a weird maneuver is that? Oh, what? <laughs> oh. It doesn't seem like it's going anywhere. Go. We're not gonna reach the ocean with that. <laughs> oh, oh gosh, this is nervous. Uh, wow! <laughs> There's no way that's at the bottom. You didn't make it. No fish for dinner tonight. Double fail, guys. Was worth the try though. I know it doesn't look like it, but it is getting a lot later in the day. In Iceland, at this time of year, the sun doesn't really ever set. It's just gonna be bright forever. This is a snack I found at the store. The traditional Icelandic, I think. Since we didn't catch an actual fish, this will have to do. Ready to eat fish jerky. Is this so. normal to eat fish jerky? Everyone eats this? Yeah. 
Really? Oh, bubba. Ba. Oh, whoa. <laughs> oh, this looks what so is this bad, Jerry. A snack. Oh, yes! This isn't a challenge. This is normal food. I can't, I can't. Oh, I can't bear it. I finished it. I can't even bear it. Well, this is what's for dinner, mm -hmm. so. <laughs> we use all the meatballs fishing and trying to catch birds. Well guys, we're about 10 hours in. You're probably wondering how we're going to be preparing for tonight's cold weather. It is actually getting slightly more windy, so we're gonna bring our stuff inside, kinda figure out how we're gonna be uh, sleeping tonight. Welcome to the bedroom, pretty nice. I can't believe it's so light out still. In a normal <laughs> overnight, this is about the time it'd be getting slightly dark, like sunset. Although it looks pretty terrible in here for sleeping quarters, we have some things to luxurify it, including no. this inflatable Your bed. bed. Uh, got a solar light here for the darkness, even though it's not dark. I really don't want to touch the ground. It's so dirty and damp. Hey, well, we got a spotlight. That's cool. Ouch! The way you guys go all day without washing your hands in the nastiest places and still touch your food, blows my mind. Since we are on the most dangerous lighthouse, we got this walkie-talkie looking thing, but this is not not your ordinary walkie-talkie. It is purely an SOS walkie-talkie. We can push this button on the side and the Coast Guard will come save us. That's the only thing you packed in the whole medical box? Yes. We had a lot of fun talking with our safety officer. He was telling us tales of old <laughs> Viking stories, Icelandic heritage. <laughs> What is going on? He keeps poking me. That's it. You guys don't get to know about the cool Viking stories. Man, I could really use a pillow. They came with pillows. No, they didn't. Dude, did. Where? Yeah. It's a pillow? That's not a pillow. Is it not? Not a pillow. It's not. That's a literally a pillow. It's literally a pillow, you big oof. Dude, you're such a big oof. I'm blowing up my pillow. pillow. Guys, we also got some military grade glow sticks. Yo. Bro, these are bright as all get out. Here, you can have one. Mm. I think we need to block off the moonlight as well. Do you need a light? No, I can see just fine. How do people go to bed here? I don't know, dude. Whoa, what? You did it. Good night from the lighthouse. <laughs> Hopefully nothing drastic happens while we're sleeping, like the sinkage of the whole island. <laughs> or the army of barf birds that came in. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. What are you doing? doing? Getting out of here, dude. Oh. It smells terrible. It doesn't look like any new storms have spawned. We've slept in some pretty dingy lighthouses and hotels before, and this is just like all the rest. Not luxurious whatsoever. Still tired. It's kind of weird. The weather in Iceland, the high and low temperatures really aren't that big of a difference. I think the high was like in the high 50s and the low was in the low 50s. Not too bad temperature wise. This specific pigeon has been here all night. He looks the most friendly. So I think we can be homeless. No, I can't do it. You can spray right in my eye. Obviously this helicopter pad is not very big, so any type of helicopter maneuvering, taking off, coming down, can be a bit sketchy. Hopefully no issues. And we just went over our loading procedure. A lot could go wrong, so we gotta make sure we stick to our procedure so we can get on and get out of here safely. I think I'm the first person ever to fingerboard at this lighthouse, maybe even in the whole of Iceland. Called the Iceland Gap. Go follow Jay's Do Fingerboarding on Instagram. Guys, I hear a helicopter. I hear it too. Oh. And they're coming for us. The British. I'm thankful to get off this lighthouse, but I'm also very scared of getting back in the helicopter. This overnight was insane. Drop a like if you enjoyed it. The end for now.
we're spending the next 24 hours at the world's most dangerous hotel. We're flying to the world's most dangerous hotel and staying overnight for 24 hours. This is insane! This hotel used to be a lighthouse in the 60s because hundreds of ships would sink here due to shallow waters, nicknaming it the Graveyard of the Atlantic. Not only is this hotel 35 miles away from any piece of land whatsoever, it is only accessible by helicopter. It's also swarming with sharks, barracudas, a hot spot for hurricanes, and constantly being renovated so it doesn't collapse and fall into the ocean at any moment. And we are gonna stay the night in it. Hyper, have you ever ridden in a helicopter before? I don't like heights. Me, but where's our room? I'm in this creepy hotel too. Welcome to the Frank Bain Tower, the world's most dangerous hotel. This is Richard. Richard! He owns this hotel and he has survived multiple hurricanes out here. Where are we staying tonight? Come on, let me show you. Oh my, where are we? Here we are. High voltage. I guess this is huh? the room going in. Oh, nice. We have other bedrooms in this hotel. I mean, look at this room. Love the decor. Probably about 75 feet above a bunch of sharks and barracudas. And if you feel it flex funny, well, maybe we need to repair that area. That was an eye beam. Look at this beam, dude. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm like, I'm not messed up as I'm. I'm broke. pretty nervous. Did he knock that one out yet? No, it's still good. World's most dangerous hotel. Keep that in mind. This is so sketch, you guys. I don't this... think you understand. You okay? Ah. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Holy crap! Dude, there's a bunch of rust spots. Ah. Andrew, get away from there. I do not like this. Still good. I mean, still good. So the rust here is kind of the same rust that's like yeah. needing parts to replace. See those large holes? So the thing that we say out here, which is so true, is rust never sleeps. So we are always cutting off the old, chopping out the bad, and welding in new. One of my fears is actually big waves. Use muscles. The door is perfectly fine. It sounded like sand was dropping from that door. <laughs> oh my! So come take a look down here and, and be careful. And notice That's I haven't said that good. until now. <laughs> this does not look safe at all. Well, there's so much rust. Are you still standing on the good beams? Don't walk on that one right oh, there. Oh, no way. So that's what's eventually gonna happen to these ones. Yeah, that's why we're replacing them all. The areas that we're walking right now is perfectly safe. As long as you don't sleepwalk. Oh, uh, yeah, but... <laughs> By boat, we don't get to just step out of the helicopter. The boat gets close to that corner leg, and someone like myself leaps off the front of the boat, and grabs hold of the handholds, and climbs up that leg, and then lowers down the hoist, and then picks everybody up by boats in the chair, which we will sit on later on this evening. But just lower you almost to the water. Climb up that? Yeah. Why? <laughs> well, you want to climb that ladder? Ah, uh, no. Are you sure we won't fly off the swing later? You might, but I'll tie you on. Uh, we have swimsuits. Activate. Light. Are you gonna put your swimsuit on? There's no way I'm going down there. This is completely safe, right? Yeah, it's as safe as we can make it. You signed the waiver, right? Oh my gosh, dude. It's really kind of important this doesn't break and fall off and it's got a little corrosion in there. What? Don't think you want it to like fall off while you're hanging on it. <laughs> oh my. That'd be good. <laughs> Glad we decided that before we went down. Safety first. Fun first. Snacks first. We gotta make it so they get off of here. Ah! Andrew, how are you feeling right now emotionally? Extremely nervous. <laughs> like extremely. The good part is, is that the connection we just made, it hasn't slipped at all. Well, you just made it. Bounce a little. Oh, it's solid. We're good. Okay. Are you sure about <laughs> oh, that? I really don't want to do this. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Please don't fall, please don't fall, please don't fall. Oh. 
please! I can't believe he's out there right now. This is insane. Whoa! Dude! Why? Oh my god! This is so nervous! There's sharks in the water! Ah! Whoa! No, no, no! Ah! We're swinging like crazy down here! Strangest amusement ride ever. Ah! Oh. I touched the bottom. I don't like being out here. This is insane. Whoa! The water gets so cold. I got soaked. Well, maybe because I peed. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I can do anything through Christ. Oh, good night. Oh, ah, oh, touch my feet. Holy cow, water's so warm. Oh. Wow, the water's so warm. Why am I swinging? Man, it would be horrible to be on a boat down here, wouldn't it? Oh, big fish! Oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, Hyper, what do you think? Can you do it? Yeah! Ah! Oh my gosh, guys, this is the worst. I don't like water or heights. Okay. Okay, stop! Stop! That's all I could do, guys. Oh, Lord. Father, in Jesus' name, would you keep me safe? Can you bring it back, please? <laughs> How do you feel? Good. <laughs> and after we all went down on the swing that Richard made, we did notice that there is a support beam that is completely missing. What is this? It's a fish. It's that is not a fish. Oh, well, it's just soon. a little fish. And this is live right now? Yeah, that's, not, that's about 50 feet below us. There's a shark down there. Kid, there's sharks. Wait, that's here? Yes, right now. We were just down there. Oh! Oh! No, you gotta be careful. We can't lose a football out here. Yeah. Oh, Guys, just look where we are. We're playing football in the middle of the ocean. Oh my God. Oh! As I'm chasing the football and jumped on this walkway, I found out later that it was so rusty it could have broken, resulting in my immediate death. But I saved the football. Ah! Way harder than you think to play cornwall up here because of how windy it is. Yeah! I'm about to feed the fish with this golf ball. Ah! <laughs> How did he miss so bad? Oh! Oh! My tee! The tee broke! done with lunch and the only way to get rid of scraps is to throw it out the window into the ocean for the fish. All right, we've just been chilling, but as you can hear, outside is getting a lot more windy. There is actually a storm coming. Also, if the storm gets too powerful, the helicopter can't come and get us. Every once in a while, you can feel a giant wave hit the pillars down below and it shakes sort of the whole building. You can tell by the way these things are shaking. Guys, we just spotted a tiny fishing boat way out here. 
right over there. I'm not sure if you can see him, but Richard is now, he has the binocs out. He's gonna call him in and see who it is because we are in international waters. Technically, we're not in the US right now. So it could be a pirate. Pirates? Pirates. The worst pirate I've ever heard of. What is it? I don't know, he's odd looking. He looks like he's half military and got equipment on the back and very strange. It looks like a fish, fishing vessel. Even Richard is nervous. Vessel by the frying pan tower. You copy on channel 16. Vessel out by the frying pan tower. You copy on 16. Please reply. That's not a good sign. Hey, Captain Coast Guard. Uh... Richard, somebody's talking. Okay. Was it them that just talked or was that? Who knows? It's definitely kind of freaky seeing another small boat out here because literally we're in the middle of the ocean. So, uh, nervous. All right, we got the binoculars. We're gonna go to the very top of the tower. We're gonna see if we can spy on these pirates. There they are. There it is. It is almost time for dinner. So we are going to try and catch it ourselves with some fishing poles. No way, already? Get up out of here! No way! Let's go! What? Let's go! Hey, what? Oh, my name's Pete. That's so cool! Right off the bat! Oh, that was the fastest. Oh, he's pooping oh, all over it. He's pooping all over it. So ah. don't do this, because if a big fish gets it, you will cut your fingers off. We're trying to catch a fish this big. Yes. It's possible. Oh, dude, what is on this? You caught something? <laughs> Look at this pole. Oh, I'm trying. Nope. Oh, I don't know, dude. <laughs> this feels way too hard. Oh. What? <laughs> dude. Oh. Freaking doing anything? Oh. This is going to be lame if it didn't catch anything. Whoa, well, what did you catch? Oh, my God. Oh, you hooked him, my guy. Yeah. <laughs> Your first fish! Let's go! Your first fish! Now let's use this to catch a shark. You got him? Yes! You, got him. you pulled up! You did it! Thank you, Lord! Hey! <laughs> How about that? We did it! Woo! Yes! And last but not well, least. Down there in the water. Oh, he is going for it! What? That's a shark! It just went under. No. What? What? Oh, there it is! You can see it in the water. No more chum in the water. Where'd he go? Do you still see it? Like we said, the world's most dangerous hotel. Right here, we're fishing and sharks are eating our bait. Shark attack. Sun is gone. Sun is gone. <laughs> Honey moany. Honey moany, my toe me. <laughs> we fished for hours and only caught these little feeder fish. Couldn't cook those up. So we decided to cook steak instead. And uh, pasta cooking right now. We didn't catch any fish or sharks or barracudas, so we're going with just a classic steak. Thankfully, we got dessert here. I'm eating it. Hey, Come check this out. What? what? The world? Yeah. Why are you wearing scuba gear? I found a hole in the water. <laughs> Pulling me down. <laughs> Richard! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you looking for in there? Let me out, please. I don't know if this is safe to be down there, Richard. Are you okay? <laughs> what the? <laughs> what is that? Oh my, it looks like a plutonium tank. <laughs> Dude, that is so cool. <laughs> there you are. Uh, uh, what in the world's going on? I think Richard's lost his mind. Oh, and look, I found another. Radio. <laughs> so apparently this Illumacy light can go down to the bottom of the ocean floor and just light up the whole place. As you guys can see, it is nighttime now, still very windy and stormy, but we are going on the helipad, light off some fireworks and have a fire pit. What do you have, Richard? Flame. Mortar. Light! <laughs> This is the world's most dangerous hotel for a reason. What hotel lights off fireworks 
from their roof, from their helipad, and then throws firecrackers in the fire pit with its owner. <laughs> <laughs> I've been meaning to ask you, we have this thing, well, it's a long story, but can you say, it is I, Richard! It is I, Richard! <laughs> <laughs> so dark out here. There's a strong breeze coming in through that door. Yes. So these are the beds we're sleeping in. We've got nice wool blankets here because it's going to be chilly in here. You can hear the wind and the waves crashing underneath us, even in our bedroom. It's crazy. And like we said, if this weather doesn't clear up a little bit by morning, then the helicopter probably won't be able to come get us. We'll be stuck here. One of the best parts about being in the middle of the ocean is that there are no spiders out here, at least that we have found. Right, guys? Right, guys. I'm in my underwear. He's literally lost his mind. He's been sniffing rust. <laughs> I am praying we have good weather in the morning. Otherwise, we're stuck here for who knows how long. It's morning now, guys. Look outside. It is storm again. The waves are still rolling in, and it's still extremely windy out. Who did that? I think that's the power, my guess. The power just went out? Yes. What? Oh. Uh, Where's Richard? I think he was making coffee, but if the power's out, how's the helicopter gonna get here? We've got a safety light, that's good. Oh, perfect. That can't be good. Oh my. What is that? Guys, the power went out. We gotta fix it. What's, what's the alarm for? There, I fixed it. Let's turn it back on. Oh, thank God. Oh. See? Easy. <sighs> I really hope this helicopter comes. I do not want to stay here any longer. Guys, how do you get up there? Oh. Why is it slippery? You got it! Get up here, Billy! It's so windy! Not right here, it's not. <laughs> Dude, it's 140 feet up here. What? Dude, this is insane. Welcome. You think the helicopter's gonna come? It better. You see how windy it is, though? The helicopter's driving around. Who brought the Nervous Brothers out here to the world's most dangerous hotel? No way. I hear a helicopter. did it. We survived 24 hours in the world's most dangerous hotel. Where should we stay next? 